So today we're gonna to be talking about how to get ready to buy a house so that you can buy as soon as possible. And I'm talking about age. Yes, age, ah! Um, so there's a lot of kids right now in high school that want to know how to get ready to buy a house. I'm getting calls from 18 year olds, 19 year olds who are out of high school, who are ready to buy. They have money saved. They've been watching the market. It's exciting. So I wanna make sure you guys know as a lender what I'm looking at and a couple things you can do while you're still in high school okay in order to be ready to buy a house as quickly as possible okay so number one employment employment's important so a lot of times people are like well I just graduated from high school and I have a job now and it's part-time I can't use that income I have no history of it okay so what I would suggest is while you're in high school provided it doesn't affect your studies negatively get a part-time job there's a lot of kids that have full-time jobs during high school as well work the weekends work the nights you know when I was in high school I had two jobs I like money so I was working hard um, that's a great way to start establishing that work history that I as a lender I'm gonna be looking at because if I see okay looks like they were part-time at you know Safeway right? They were bagging groceries for the last two years. Now they're out of school and they have a job. Maybe they're doing, um, I don't know, maybe they're a cashier, full-time cashier at Safeway. They like climbed the ladder, which is great. Cool. I can use that full-time income because I have a history, a work history of you being able to handle employment for at least two years. Okay. Now, regardless of age, we're always looking for a two-year history and the reason I bring it up here is because a lot of times people are like, well, I just got out of high school. And it's like, that's cool. Like if you just got out of high school, you just started working, just know we're gonna need that to your history. And people are like, I wish I knew that earlier. So here you go. If you're in high school right now, you know, get that part-time job, that summer job, uh, weekend job, so that you can start building that employment history. Okay, now this is for traditional loans. I do those nice 30-year uh, fixed loans that you see every lender advertising. Okay, now credit. Okay, you will need a credit history and this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So I would say if your parents have good credit, definitely have them add you as an authorized user when you're younger. For instance, with my son, I have him as an authorized user on one of my accounts and it's so that he can start building credit but also so that he has access to credit in case of an emergency. Like what if a car breaks down or he's with his friends and they're stranded, all of that sort of thing. So. If your parents have good credit, that's a great way to start. If your parents do not have good credit, um, do not ask to be an authorized user. If your parents are you know, constantly maxed out, stressed over bills, just stay away, okay? Because you don't want bad credit. Now, you could also look at, and I would check out probably Nerd Wallet or Bigger Pockets. I like both of those sites. They have advertisements constantly and blogs about how to build credit non-traditionally. So sometimes you can do stuff like report, cell phone bills and everything else. And you will need to do more, but that can be a step in the right direction. So look into some of those programs. Um, those companies should have blogs about this, okay? The other thing is, is when you're 18, get your first credit card, okay? Do not put a bunch of debt on it. No, that's not what we wanna see. Put one tank of gas or one grocery store trip on it every single month and pay it off, okay? That's what you need to build good credit. Now, if you guys don't have any credit and you're starting at 18, we're gonna need at least a year of credit, okay? So that puts you at 19. That's not too old. You can, you can, you'll still make it, okay? Because sometimes people are like, I don't wanna wait. And I'm like, I get it, but just do this. The other third thing that's very important is start stacking cash. So if you're getting that part-time, full-time job in high school, start putting aside the money from that. If your parents are paying your living expenses, you know, and you're like, oh, I wanna get these cool shoes or I wanna get this dope new phone, like my lingo, um, don't, put it away, start stacking cash. You know, you could start looking at investing as well, but at a minimum, start stacking cash so that when you are at a point to buy a house, you have a down payment. Because even though there are down payment assistance programs, they're not generally the best programs, they're not available in all situations, and they may not be available in your area. So you wanna make sure you're planning to put some money down. Now, first time home buyer, conventional loan, the minimum amount down is 3%, okay? 3%, so keep that number in mind, and then I would always say budget above that, depending on where you are in the country, guys, and it totally varies on price point, it varies on the state, um, 
you need to start saving for closing costs. So I would say at least $5,000 towards closing. That's the lowest I see anywhere in the country. Up to 10, save as much as you can. If your parents are paying for things, take advantage of it to sell to set yourself up for the rest of your life. This is, you know, be nice to your parents too. Uh, thank them so that you can start storing this nest egg so that you can have a house early because the one thing we've seen is the earlier in, the better off you are in the long term. So I hope this has been helpful. I am licensed in 46 states to do mortgages. So when you're ready for a mortgage or if you have more questions, feel free to give me a call. I will always call you guys back. And I think the fact you're even watching this and you're excited about buying a house and you're getting ready, I think it's awesome. I think it's really, really awesome. So kudos to you. Have a great day.